Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Inkeeper, and today we're going to be playing some more Stone Earth. Doing some time lapses should be fantastic. That intro was questionable at best, but I'm going to stick with it because I'm lazy, apparently. <laughs> Very lazy. This intro also took me a little while to really get into, but now I just sort of feel like being chill and relaxed. I mean, Merv just like sort of the. Well, actually, now you're doing the annoying beak scratch thing. Is on my chair right now. Merv, can you not be annoying, please? No, you're not gonna do it. Merv's my parrot, by the way. For those that are questioning my sanity, I'm fine. Don't you worry. Today we are going to be constructing a more Japanese-esque structure, being just a simple house, really. It's. Uh, not too insane. It's also not too much of a complex house as well. It literally is only one room. You could probably turn it into several to be honest with you. I think the main problem that I really had with this structure when finishing it was that it was too big. It's a little bit too big, especially for our hearthlings. I'm not too sure how everyone else really feels. Hopefully we can agree to an ex... I mean, I don't know. I think it's alright. I think the size isn't like the a big fault with it that's gonna end its role completely I think it's still good but uh, just maybe could be a little bit too a little bit smaller I have a problem with making sort of small structures well structures that should be small but end up being too big and I, I do this with houses all the time you see my minecraft houses are ridiculous for some reason I can't make a small minecraft house probably because you can't add much detail to a small house but um, you know you can add a certain amount that is still it's still acceptable. I say acceptable. <laughs> I say that as if I'm being constantly monitored and if I get something wrong I'll get shot as if I'm at gunpoint. It's <laughs> ridiculous. As ridiculous of a notion as that is, I will still continue to criticize because that's the only way you will learn, I feel. But, uh, but yeah, nothing wrong with criticism. It's all about building. It can be a strong thing to learn. I feel like I've mastered it at this point <laughs> just just because I criticize myself more than people criticize me which um, you know it's all right it's fine we are just making a simple house though so we are sticking with the same roofing design although I feel like I make this one a little bit sharper than the the other style that we went for I think it's like one block higher than it really than the last one was I I can't recall exactly I could be wrong there but it is slightly different when it comes to its shape and the design that I went for, but still sort of similar from a distance. This is a screw up at first as well. I, I sort of screw this up. I, I go a little bit over my head there, but I'm going to keep the screw up seeing because it sort of makes sense. It's all part of the building process. I don't see why it, oh, I don't see why it shouldn't be in there. As you can see, I'm sort of questioning it right now. Oh, what's, what's going on? I do like the body of the structure though. Uh, sort of, you know, normal paper mesh that kind of thing mesh yeah not really mesh but uh the the sort of design that is usually went for it's very simple um as you can as you probably saw at the start i did try and make it look a little bit more detailed by having the first layer be made out of wood and then the the sort of backwards layer being the the paper kind of i'm not sure it's not called paper but it's called something specific but it's basically paper it's as thin as so <laughs> there it gets it's stronger but um, you know still just gonna call it paper for the time being. As terrible as it is. The annoying thing is I can't actually scroll over the the internet while I'm doing this because the video pauses and then I get the timings wrong. I mean, already I'm running out of time, so it's hard for me to really do I mean, I'm doing this on the fly. This is sort of the format at the moment. Uh, I'm not too sure if people maybe would prefer it if I was more detailed with my descriptions or why I went for things, which would make it a little bit of a pain because, I mean, the best thing about... I say the best thing. These videos are very time consuming in themselves. So when I've also got to do all the bits of stuff in the background while also doing you know, everything else uh, with the limited amount of time that I have, it becomes a little bit of a pain and it makes me, I, I won't be able to really do them as much. I mean, it's as simple as that really. But I probably would attempt it at some point and see what people really think. That's uh, sort of why I've been sort of holding back time-lapse videos because there's just a lot of time in, well, a lot, a lot more time to consume. And sort of doing it in this style, that's a bit different to what I would usually go for. Where it's a lot more descriptive and there's a lot more sort of professional details being thrown in there here. And I say professional details. I maybe put a little bit more thought into what I was saying and maybe read it down. And had a, I say script, as it were. 
But uh, for now, I'm just going to talk like this. I'm not really talking much about the house. It's this sort of normal design. I like the way the roof works. I do add a little bit that's sticking out from the peak of the roof, as you can see right here. Just to give it a little bit more shape. It's not actually traditional, I think, to add this. But I thought it looked quite nice. Although it might look, unfortunately, Nordic. I don't really know. It looks like it should be there, though. I feel so, anyway. Maybe you can let me know in the comments. I'm not sure if I'm traditionally going to go for this kind of housing design with the series. I think we're probably going to try and stick with the more Chinese-esque Chinese, Chinese -esque version of architecture. But we might make a few of these houses. I'm not too sure. I do quite like the house, though. As simple as it is. I think I do screw up, but I just cut that bit off. I, uh, I forgot the flat layer that you can probably see in between the two roofs. The sort of white part right there. I forgot to put that in. So it was just sort of hovering off the ground. It was very strange, but I do like this house. I do feel like a little, a little bit Nordic though. <laughs> um, maybe a little bit, but I think it's mostly sort of Japanese, that kind of thing. I could have maybe done a little bit more with the bottom layer. There's not too much detail going on right there, and I couldn't use the main body, uh, the sort of main construction method the game gives you, where it makes a wall for you. Because it's for you. Because... Well, doing that's great, because it means that you can make the doors and windows. But unfortunately, we, we couldn't really do that, so I made my own doors and windows. And hopefully, you uh, all enjoy that. I'm not sure what the next construction will be, however. If you could let me know in the comments, that would be fantastic. Uh, once again, time is a bit of a problem, so I'm hoping to do a few smaller builds. Maybe every now and again we do something very big. And I'm not sort of just sticking to the sort of Chinese stuff, but it would be... Or Chinese, Japanese, Asian architecture. It's not strictly going to be that in the time-lapse building series and the time-lapses that may possibly come along in the future. But, um, you know, it's appreciated at the moment, seeing as I want to get as much practice in as I can when it comes to building this t type of architecture. Of any kinds, really, of any uh, dynasty, that kind of thing. Dynasty, I mean, I say dynasty. Uh, dynasty, dynasty, I'm not too sure which one. I think dynasty's right, but I like saying dynasty for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why, to be honest with you. Guess I'll just say Dynasty for the time being, everyone else does. I will find out. The video speed was turned down a little bit though, I'm not just sure. This video is basically edited edited right after the uh, the last one. So it's, it's about uh, six times speed rather than the seven times that I had before. It's a much shorter build, so I felt like I could actually do that. I'm talking for way too long now. I thought I wouldn't be able to pull this off, but apparently I don't know how to shut up. I did this way back when with those little vlog videos that I used to make. Uh, peon post, I believe. I like doing those, but I don't think they, they don't really get much views-wise. So I'm not too sure if I'm really going to bother with stuff like that. Did I do one in a week? I think I did do one in a week. I'm not too sure. I don't know if I really have it in me anymore. I say that. He says that as he's still talking. <laughs> I have a problem apparently when it comes to shutting, which is really weird. I uh, say closing my mouth there as well as trying to say, which is very strange since in real life, I'm very quiet. <laughs> there we go. I guess I don't get a word in and when I can't, I just sort of vent in here in a very strange way. But there we go. <laughs> a little bit of random talking, which is pretty fantastic. If you enjoyed this format, please let me know. Please uh, let me know of any other types that maybe I could try out and maybe people would prefer. I'm open to many different kinds of interpretation when it comes to the representation of these videos. That would be fantastic. Until then, though, feel free to like. Well, if you enjoyed this video, then feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Vibe Data, my channel, and Twitch for live streams. I've been the Innkeeper. You've all been fantastic, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.